All right, we're back. It's another steamroll through episode, and Brow Boy is here. Uh, yeah. He has a decent amount of health, and that was a decent hit, but that's all he's going to do. <clears throat> that's a really powerful attack. The Jacko Bombs? Good grief. I'm fine with it being like that. I like how Brow Boy flashed up there again. Auto regen. Never used that, but it's probably good. I'm gonna go through this green tent. This used to be purple, but now you're in Pinwheel Funhouse. It's gonna throw some random perspective effects at you, so it's like cylindrical right now. Alright, these enemies are... Huh, these should be able to transform. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> yeah. Hocus Pocus will be nice on this one. A lot of these guys have jump scare and uh, escape key and that type of stuff. So you can get randomly killed very easily on this. It's not a great thing. Alright, Nightmare Chica. Fashionably late. Oh. <laughs> Happened again. Alright. So first we're gonna... I like how that perspective is on that. Alright, this is the main area of the fun house. I probably should have done uh, Mega Virus on that. That's fine. Alright, you're gonna go down through that area where I just went down through here. That block you can walk through. Golden Freddy. Take him down. Could I transform him? <laughs> that would be crazy if I could. <clears throat> he didn't like that virus. Oh man. Yeah, this is what this is what got me last or not last time, but um when I was trying to find this, I just kept missing it because I couldn't get to Bubba. Let's find the clock first. Um no, let's let's get Bubba first. We're gonna get Bubba first. Why not? Slasher. Let's see how much health does he have from that. Twenty twenty-five K or so. Well that made the noise, but it didn't actually connect. So huh, interesting. Man, he's getting torn up by that mega virus though. And this'll this will finish him off. Yeah. Three thousand EXP but no FAS tokens. That kinda that kinda hurts. But yeah, e each row you go down is dramatically more powerful. This one should be fairly easy, because Phantom Marionette is not a high tier character. Why are you still here? Thank you. <laughs> Alright, get on our team. Alright. Here, um, if you want another chest, you can go through here. And then here. Yeah, counterbite. I'm not going to really need that, but that's fine. That's nice. Again, if you notice with Mimic, there's a bug with Mimic Ball that if you throw, like, for example, fourth wall, it goes fourth wall, then Mimic fourth. And then if you throw another fourth, it won't Mimic. Oh, Nightmare. Wow, one of the rares. Uh, mathematically, Nightmare and Spring Bonnie should be the most rare to get because of the... Uh, 0.5 value essentially um, but essentially they have one chance of oh, the layering on that oh oh it looks so weird I guess like that that kind of makes sense that kind of makes sense um, let's go through here again <coughs> oh man 
But anyway, the Mimic Ball won't mimic the second time you do the same attack in a row. So you only get three instead of four iterations of that attack, which is really annoying. Nightmare Bonnie! Slashing him every time. <laughs> After the fact. Alright, let's go back through here. And this will take us to the yard. That's the one we want. Here we go. So now, essentially, R W Q F S F A S X C. Put him in that spot right here, and you got it. And now we can get the clock ending. Um, we need to beat Pork Patch and get the key, so we can do that as well. All right, let's not keep looping around here. All right, so we're going to go through here. And now we're going to go through that bottom path again. Go through here, we've already beaten Bubba. All right. This wasn't a bad area at all. Um, this is where to farm your characters, though. You get everybody. Even the fan, once you, uh, once you have all the characters, including these eight new ones. I have four of them so far, but I'll go back and get the other four later. Oh, crying child, nice. All right, I gotta. All right, y'all are y'all are freaking me out here. All right, cool. Now we're gonna walk through this wall, and we are right on the edge, Black Tomb Yard. You found the exit. Oh look, there's another done button. There we go. It's one of the new cutscene screens, or not the cutscene, but the uh, loading screen. All right, we're gonna warp over to World Six. Let's go. That's one. Now we're gonna go back through here. On, think, 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 think. This one. Yes. Back through here. This is a little bit of a refresher course for me, too. It's up through here, isn't it? Yeah. Alright, now, here we go. You see this? Anytime you see that flashing object right there, you're going to go toward it. So we're going to go through that wall. And let's get another ending. So this will be the first ending that we're going to see. You're going to go down through here. And there's a glitch fourth object here. He tells you not to go more than, what, three glitches down. All right, here we're at four. So two different endings that you can get with this right here. You can either talk to the crocodile. We're going to do that here first. Look at that. There's a next button now. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to say that you have gone too deep into the code. There is no way back out. My name is Old Man Consequences. Come and have a seat. Let's fish for a while. You have nowhere else to go. Nowhere. Oh. I wish I could screenshot it. Can I? Yeah, I can. Okay, I screenshot it. I'll send it over. The end. And now you have to press F2. And that's it. Alright, so that's one of the possible endings in the fourth glitch world. See, I'm still moving, but I can't get off of Old Man Consequences. It'd be kind of cool if you could do both of those endings. So you, you have to F2, reset. That doesn't delete your game. It just resets the game. Alright. 
We've gotten a decent amount of characters so far. We're going to keep going till we get all of them. And all the chips. And all the bites. And at least my bottom line, I want them to be level 100 as well. Alright, so let's go through again. Same process. Come on now. Through here. And now through this wall again. I'm going to go to the same spot again, and you're going to see a separate ending as well. So we've seen one ending. We're going to see a second one right here. Go through that same spot again. So we're in the third glitch right now, or Underworld 3, and this will be a path to the Lost World. All right. Now, instead of talking to Old Man Consequence, we're going to do this. We'll press 80, 80, 80, 80, 80. 80. And if you don't press it, then it does nothing. If you... Interesting. I could just hit A at this point. Yeah, I'm just hitting A at that point. Huh, okay. That's one or, one or the other, I guess. I just usually hit A, D alternating and all that. So, um, this is another one of the endings. And a lot of people have said that it looks like an angel with wings. Um, I think it's... Uh, the maker of the game, Scott, with his two sons. Though, now you could say, well, now he has a third, but uh, not big enough to, you know, hold around the shoulders yet. Um, so, <laughs> I don't think the angel thing is legit, but it's all kind of like block art in terms of the, uh, the setting of that. So it's like a Minecraft meta build. <laughs> all right. Uh, so you got to just kind of sit here for a while and... That's pretty much it. It's just a, a Fred, Freddy Sprite. Looks like he's ice skating. I've always thought it looked like he was ice skating in this mode. Um, yeah, so if you drown in the pond, apparently this happens. Like Correct your V-Sync or something. And interesting on the uh, on the video, it's it's pulling less frames a second. Yeah, because it's, yeah, it's only doing 30 frames a second. On my screen, there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7... Freddy's, like, top down, there's just, like, yeah, they're touching, like, Freddy's foot is on Freddy's head Then on the next one. But here, I'm looking at the recording, and it's only showing four, because it's skipping, uh, essentially, a frame. This is running 60 on my uh, monitor, but 30 on the video. Interesting. Um... Also, one interesting thing, I got a comment asking if uh, if the timer changed on Chica's Magic Rainbow minigame. I'm pretty sure not. Nothing changed in terms of the uh, the object being used for that, so it's literally just taking from a from a timer. Uh, nothing changed on that, so there's no speed up or slow down on on you know the first version until now. Um, all right, any minute now. Any minute. <laughs> So, okay, so we've seen the first ending. We're going to see the second ending. Here we go. Sweet. Finally. Yeah, I don't think it looks like an angel. You know, it would be like all messed up wings and stuff. It looks like a dude looking at like a seizure screen with the, with two kids. Two littler, two littler ones. All right, so at this point also it's just a dead end. There's nothing else that happens. There's also like a dark blue block right here, but it does nothing. It would be interesting if this did do something at some point. Uh, but if you see it right here, it's a very, very, very minimal difference between this and the black background. But uh, yeah, there's a tiny, tiny block there. Anyway, uh, that's it for this episode. Um, next episode, I'm going to reset. Not the game, but reset the... Uh, I'm not going to reset the save, but I'm going to reset the game. And... Uh, and we're going to continue, and what's next? What's next, actually? Oh, yeah, we're going to battle Pork Patch. Yeah, yeah, we're going to get the key. All right, so that'll be good. Cool. All right, we'll check you all later. Peace, God bless, and have a great day.